Welcome to the Olympus Port, demigods, monsters, and gods alike. The Ryan inverse, in my opinion, is as close to perfect as you can get, but that doesn't mean there isn't the occasional mistake. Before you watch this video, if you haven't already seen parts one and two, please go check them out first. But if you have seen them, here's everything you need to know about mistakes and plot holes within the Riordan verse, part three. Something Rick seems to have a hard time with, as we've seen in parts one and two, is keeping track of the timelines. In The Last Olympian, Nico is 12 years old and has a birthday in February. So therefore, he would be 13 during the events of the Heroes of Olympus. Yet he stated that he's 14. Hey, maybe he shadow traveled a year into the future. But it's not only timelines that Rick has issues keeping track of. He also has issues keeping track of specific details as well. In the Tyrant's Tomb, Raina said that she was imprisoned on Calypso's island by pirates. Not Xerxes Island. Reyna has never been to Calypso's Island, so again, this is a mistake. And here's another one involving Reyna. Grover mentions in the Burning Maze that he never met Reyna, but he definitely met her together with Rachel in the House of Hades. But hey, it's Grover, so he fully could have forgot. So let's move on. In The Mark of Athena, Annabeth states that a bright red car hit Arachne and breaks through the floor, plunging them both into Tartarus. However, in the House of Hades, Annabeth spots the same car, but now Annabeth says it's blue. Maybe like underwater, colors are seen differently in Tartarus. Or maybe Rick just forgot. Another detail Rick also changed was Blackjack was originally introduced as a mare, a female horse. But ever since, Blackjack has been male. Rick has stated that this was a mistake on his part. But besides just details, Rick also has some issues keeping track of names. As stated in part two, in The Sun and the Star, Nico accidentally calls his mother, Maria, Bianca. But this mistake actually extends to the audiobook as well. I'm not your child, Nico seethed. My mother is Bianca D'Angelo, and she loved me and my sister. And that's not the only mistake within the audiobooks. This next one is actually not Rick's fault at all, as it is correct in the book. But in the audiobook for The Ship of the Dead, the narrator has an interesting name for Magnus's cousin. Hi, I'm Jack, said Jack. Annabelle stifled a yelp. It talks? Annabelle? That's definitely not her name. Thankfully, this only happens once, and she is referred to Annabeth for the rest of the book. But how did the director miss that one? Like I said, mistakes are okay, and I don't think they affect the stories in any way. So it's okay to look at them and laugh. Are there any mistakes that you guys noticed that I haven't mentioned? Let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, I'm signing off. And please always remember to stay safe.